Welcome, welcome! It's my dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today I thought I would talk a little bit about this box mission that I'm doing and some of the different types of jobs that are currently in the game. Uh, as you can see, here's Arc Corp in all its glory. Uh, it's very pretty. Uh, you know, unfortunately, this isn't 4K. I could probably record it 4K, or at least, um, I guess, do render this at 4K, but it wouldn't be the same. Uh, but Arc Corp is a very pretty citywide planet. Uh, this is where, uh, well, this is where I started today, but not where I ended up. You can do box missions at any of the major hubs, whether it's Crusader over at Port Alisar, um, even at Arc Corp Area 18, uh, Hurston and Lorville. You can also do it at Microtech. Now, the thing about the box missions that are, is good and bad is every one of the box missions require three boxes. You're either picking up three boxes and delivering them at three different locations. So you pick up at one location and deliver at three others. Or you are picking up at three different locations and delivering it at one, which is what I actually did during this mission here. It only pays about 8,000 credits when you're starting out, but you can string a bunch of them together. And the other issue is the uh, 30K problems, you know, that'll quickly make your box runs, you know, kind of moot and uh, not so much fun. But if you can string a few together, you can make some decent money. These are fantastic for starting out. Anybody that's wanting to start out to build up credits, box missions are the way to go. What I hate about box missions, other than 30Ks, there's no single box missions anymore. CIG, throw some single boxes out there. Maybe make them worth a little less, uh, especially if it's in the same planetary group. So if you're only in Hurston, you got to go Hurston to Ariel and then back to Hurston or something, or over to Magda for one box. Uh, you know, make it worth 4,000 or 6,000 credits. Um, if you have to go from Hurston to Crusader, make it worth eight, just like the triple boxes are. Because you're traveling further, it should be worth more. Give us a single box or a double box. You know, make these missions a little more diverse. I realize we're an alpha. That's probably more of a beta mission quest thing. Uh, but we do have people that are working on the missions. I mean, they could add a little diversity to the box missions. <laughs> they, they may say, well, it is diverse. You get three in one location and deliver three different places, or you get three at three different locations and deliver one. That's not diverse. That get, gets boring quite quickly. Uh, let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with that. But yeah, I think that gets boring fairly quickly. So on the box runs, let's make it a little more diverse. Uh, again, I know this is probably more of a beta uh, idea than an alpha idea on, you know, sorting out those missions, you know, the diversity and stuff. Uh, I get it. Uh, but, you know, for the sake of fun now, it would be nice to have a, a single box mission every once in a while, maybe jump across the system, uh, that sort of thing. Maybe pirates are trying to intercept it. I don't know. You get the idea. Other types of jobs in the game. Now, like I said, the box missions are fantastic if you're just starting out. Some of the bounty hunting missions aren't too bad if you're just starting out as well, uh, but that's definitely something you'll want a little bit sturdier of a ship uh, to fly in. Uh, of course, right here is the Banu Defender. It's plenty sturdy to do most of the bounty missions. Um, I, you know, it's it's not an Aurora. It's not a 125 or a 135, uh, 100 series origin ship. Uh, so, I mean, those you could probably do fine in some of the beginning bounty missions. Uh, just keep in mind that you definitely will want to upgrade your ship as things uh, get a little heavier. When you get into the group bounty missions, uh, those become a little bit more difficult. A lot of people are cheesing it with the, the uh, dominance scatter guns. Uh, in the future, you're not going to be able to do that. So I don't know if you want to cheese it now and just, you know, deal with it later but I would say 
be prepared. You'll want to have multiple ships to do that or something that's pretty sneaky like an Eclipse that can just torp your target and move on. That Eclipse just makes it easy, easy money, like 87,000 credits, super easy, just in a matter of a few minutes. Uh, yeah. Uh, what other types of jobs are there out there? Of course, Bounty Hunter is one, but you, one that kind of ties into Bounty Hunter is Mercenary. Uh, you can be hired to go take ships out, uh, kind of like a Bounty Hunter, or even go you know, kill personnel on the ground or on a space station or on a ship like the 890 Jump. Uh, security post, Korea has a mission like that. If you're in Hurston space, you can evict illegal occupants. Those are all mercenary type jobs. A lot of fun. Um, I, I really enjoy doing those. If you want to test your first person shooting out in the game with the current mechanics, that's the way to do it, is in one of those missions. Uh, the AI is, you know, if you get a fresh server, the AI is fun. If you don't, I mean, I, I've i stabbed my way through each one of those missions. So <laughs> that, that should tell you a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, you, you definitely would like a fresh server so the AI is not an issue. Uh, hopefully when server meshing and iCache are a little more implemented, well, server meshing implemented at all, those missions will be so much better as the AI will operate the way that they intend it to. Uh, you also have the ECN missions that are kind of mercenary-like where you can go rescue somebody in trouble. Uh, usually it's like a constellation or something like that. Uh, and you have to take out other constellations or buccaneers or uh, cutlasses, something along those lines. Uh, so those aren't too bad. Uh, another job that you can do, is one of my favorite, but it's super, super frustrating uh, when you get 30Ks, is a cargo hauler. Cargo hauling can be one of the uh, most lucrative types of jobs out there. Um, now, I will say that the group missions with the Eclipse can kind of surpass that, uh, but cargo running can definitely be very profitable. Uh, it's one of the missions or one of the types of jobs that I really, really enjoy. I just don't do it much right now because of the 30K issues. I don't enjoy losing all that money and all that time uh, that I've spent building up the money uh, doing these cargo runs. So, uh, yeah, hopefully things will get more stable. They have some good news on the PTU that a lot of the... Uh, server crashes or a lot of 30ks are now are only server crashes and not uh, other little stupid little bugs so that's fantastic news for for everybody once they implement that into the game uh, then you also have mining mining is also a very lucrative job now it's become a little bit harder over this last patch as you will have to use consumables if you're using a ship to mine uh, which is where you make a lot of money. Uh, but you could also go down and use the rock, a uh, little vehicle, to mine on planets, these middle-sized uh, pieces of ore. Uh, it, that can be lucrative as well. And then, of course, you can hand mine, which uh, is probably the one that's least done unless you're in prison and you need to get merits. Uh, but that's definitely one other job that I would say is super lucrative. It's probably the least you know one that you need to worry about 30ks on because you're not really out a whole lot of money now you are out your ship which will take a while to respawn since they increase the timers of the respawns so something to keep in mind if you are doing the mining they do have a handful of other things like investigation missions where you go down and find a dead body in a cave or go to Kovalec Station and discover what happened there. Uh, but, you know, all, most of the other missions are from mission givers and things like that, and it's still right up in those that alley. Uh, now, I will have another video in the future that talks about upcoming jobs in the verse, but I just wanted to briefly touch on what is in the game now. Uh, I know that a lot of folks uh, have not seen my earlier videos, and uh, I've touched on those subjects. I guess you could say some other uh, jobs would be, you know, 
crew for hire, pilots for hire, turret gunners for hire, etc. That still puts you kind of in the mercenary line or um, something along those lines. Uh, but you can pay other players to do different things in the game now. So that would definitely be another job uh, that you could do right now in the game. Uh, so guys, what do you think? Are you looking forward to some of the future jobs? Are you wanting me to do a video about those? Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't been getting content out every day. I've just been super, super busy. Uh, I'm trying to get them out at least every other day right now. Uh, thank you guys for hanging in there. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse.